Hi, this is Scott Pacheco with Miami Today. We're here with Phyllis Oders, President of the Orange Bowl Committee. Today she'll be talking about her 30-year career in healthcare, her passion for community service, and her role as the second woman ever to lead the Orange Bowl Committee. Well, I think it's, it's a natural because I think that the Orange Bowl has really become a multi-ethnic uh, committee. I think it's those that work hard will rise to the top. I don't think that there is a chance, uh, a rotation uh, like many organization has. It's really those that have worked hard and show leadership actually reach the top. Mm -hmm. And to that point, um, actually the gentleman, Tony Arguise, that is coming in as president next year is a Hispanic. Sure. We've had African American presidents, uh, Al Dotson Jr. and Sr. both, and, I, and we've had legacies. We haven't talked about the legacies, but there are many strong families that have been in the Orange Bowl. Chris Knight, Dean Colson, Tom Wood Jr., all are legacy um, whose parents before them were all involved in Orange Bowl. I think it's exciting to be a woman sure. leading the Orange Bowl because I think that across the nation is where I see more of a difference as opposed to right here at home. At home and in the committee, I'm accepted very, very much so. Sure. But across the country, they find it a little odd because in some of those committees, those football committees, they have not even allowed women to be a part of it yet. 